of her hair company. They sent over this beautiful wavy hair. It's actually Brazilian wavy. A few weeks ago, I did a video and I showed you how beautiful the lace frontal was and the hair. I think the video is titled like best lace frontal ever. It's been a few weeks and I'm still in agreement that this is literally one of the best lace frontals I've experienced here on YouTube. So I'm going to jump into a quick tutorial. I wore it for like a week straight and then I kind of put it to the side. So I went ahead and revamped it and I went ahead and made some space buns. So let's jump into the tutorial with the space buns and then see how I revamped the ends of the hair and styled my wavy textures hair. This hair is, I believe, 18-20-20. Yeah, 18-20-20 and then I have in a 16-inch 13 by 4 lace frontal. Obviously, I've bleached the knots. Um, the wig was constructed through my quick weave method, the hot glue gun method. I'll have my updated or my latest version of that link down below. Really, really digging this style and this is going to be what I wear this weekend. Let's jump into the tutorial. Also, don't forget, wig sale is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. This Saturday, March 10th at 10 a.m. So I have the sales st or the store link listed in the description bar. Now let's jump into the video. So, another day, another slate. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of corny, but I actually kind of like it. I reviewed this hair maybe about two, three weeks ago, and I want to kind of give you guys an update. So, my issue when it comes to my wigs is because I switched them out so much, when I get a new wig, no matter how much I love the wig that I have on before, I kind of just like, and I don't really take care of them. So, they end up sitting in a large laundry bucket that I use to store my wigs and not being loved. So as you can see this, I haven't worn this wig in a week and I had it in the bucket and look how beautiful these curls are. I was about to just put it on, but I just wanted to show you guys. Now obviously it's been sitting in a bucket, so um, it needs to be, you know, loved. It needs to be detangled. It needs to be, a whole lot needs to be done to it. But I just wanted to emphasize how beautiful their hair is. A lot of people do not like ordering from AliExpress companies. This is a US based company that I honestly can vouch for and says has some beautiful hair. Now I would say let's jump right into it but obviously I had other plans. I remembered I had some leftover Cinnabon and I had to go in because I am starving. Anyways, we're going to be doing some space buns up top. Normally I would do like two up top or I would just do one and if you do one space bun that would be considered like a top nun. A top nun. <laughs> a top knot bun or a ninja bun. Um, so I'm going to do three today. I kind of just used my fingers. I would honestly say that the best way to do this is on a mannequin head. That way you could actually see what you're doing. Go ahead and part the hair, separate it with a bobby pin or a hair clip, and then take it off, put it on the mannequin head. That way you're able to do them really, really tight um, and make sure that all of your parting is perfect. I just took a little bit of mousse. Well, actually, I took the wet first, but I realized the mousse would do a much, much better job. Basically, the mousse is going to help to separate the parting, get rid of the flyaways, make the actual piece that you're trying to put it on look a little bit more done. And then I formed a ponytail and secured it with a rubber band, twisted it all the way down, and then I'm just going to moisturize the ends so that it all looks, you know, nice and moisturized and there's not those little fluffy ends at the bottom as you can see during this process a little bit of the hair did um, mess up as far as the parting goes that's why I say put it on the mannequin head or just make sure you take your time and make sure that your parting does not mess up I for one am not one to care about that but if you are or if I actually had somewhere to go I would this is my mousse from Paul Mitchell the biggest con to this mousse is that it is very runny. So a lot of times, like right here, it messes up my makeup, which is a no-no. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other two buns. I added the mousse. Um, just brush the hair in the way that you want it to go. Get it as sleek as you possibly can. Secure it with a rubber band. I love these little tiny elastic rubber bands because they're as seamless as it gets opposed to like one of those big um, ouchless rubber bands that are much much thicker if you're dealing with more hair then obviously use a bigger or thicker rubber band and then you just twist it around you twist it around at the base and as you twist it at the base it'll make that high space bun weird antler looking thing that I kind of like so when I did this it made the lace a little bit too big actually the lace was a little bit too big already 
Anytime that your lace kind of flips up or buckles in the front, cut that off because that means it's too big. Now I need to go ahead and tweeze over there, but I'm not right now. I'm going to do the third one off camera and then I'll be back to moisturize the hair. So once your space buns are done, you pretty much can go like this. The hair is on point, but let's finesse the rest of the hair. So I used a little bit of that mousse up top. Brushed it down just so that it'll mold into a nice sleek look up there. You can kind of see the parting really good and all that. And then I use the wet on the length of the hair. This hair is so nice and beautiful. Usually with wavy hair you have to like wet it down and then put a styling product. But you didn't have to with this hair. Okay so this is the finished result. I actually have a lot of baby hair hanging. And I kind of like it like this. I know you're supposed to um, like play the baby hair down a little bit and swoop it. But like I'm literally fine with it as is. Now you guys know up here I told you guys I over bleached. Or not even over bleached but the bleach got on to the hair when I was um, bleaching the knots. Basically when you flip the lace closure over and you start to bleach on the lace or add the bleach to the lace. I can't talk today. Um, you have to make sure that you brush the hair all going one way so that when you flip it over all that flyaway baby hair does not get bleached. And I didn't do that being lazy and this is the results of it. So if you want to fix it you can take a little bit of mascara and that's definitely going to help. I'm not going to do it because I'm completely fine with the way it looks. But this is a really, really, really cute look. I've never seen myself with like this three space buns. Isn't this hair so pretty? I wonder if they do wholesale. If they do wholesale, this would be a great company to get your hair from for your company. Because this is like it. Like this is some really, 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 really good hair. Your, your customers will really be satisfied with this hair. I gotta find the, 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 the plug. I gotta find where they get this hair from. Because this is bomb. This hairstyle was inspired by Tiana Taylor and Arrogant Tay. Arrogant Tay is literally my favorite um, hairstylist of all time. I definitely follow him on Instagram and Snapchat. And I love, love, love um, all of his beautiful creations and all the hair that he does. I'm trying to get a little closer. But he just did some quick space buns for her. I think they were smaller and they were more. But I just wanted three and I was completely fine with that. It kind of looks weird how they're sticking down. So if you kind of want to wrap them tighter to go lower that'll work too but i kind of like the spice girl alien antennas alien antenna situation that's going on with them and of course just let the, the rest of the hair lay and yeah i didn't add any serums or anything like that um the hair needs to be washed i've been rocking this hair and i haven't um cold washed it and you guys can see it doesn't look dry it doesn't look dull it doesn't look way down and it definitely needs to be co-washed. So I probably will co-wash it with just some quick stress to make in a few days. But I probably will be wearing this exact hairstyle all weekend. The baby hair just lays really, really nicely. Like I literally did not soup it or anything. And because I have on makeup, I would rather not. And it looks amazing. So, so make sure you guys check this hair out. This is the Brazilian Wavy from her hair company. I have in, let me check. 18 20 20 with the 16 inch lace front so i have to check the old video to see i have it linked down below absolutely gorgeous and i'm absolutely loving this tiana taylor hairstyle right so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one